Guernsey. Six minutes, Six minutes past, past seven, my name is Oscar. Oscar. Welcome, Welcome to Breakfast. Breakfast. Boating, Boating is such an enormous, enormous part, part of our culture here in Guernsey. Guernsey. And, and uh, we're hearing news that a popular chantry shop has shut, shut its doors in Peterport. Peterport. Sequest, Sequest has been, has been holding its closing down sale despite, despite continuing to see rather high, high levels of demand, demand with long queues forming outside its Peterport Seafront store. It's a, it's a brand that's got, got quite a bit of history behind it, having operated at various locations since the late 80s. I wonder, I wonder if you can recall those, those early days. Day. If, if you're a member of our local boating, boating community, no doubt you'll have popped in there on at least one occasion to pick up a few things. Let's talk to the Commodore of the Guernsey Yacht Club, John Fallis, who's here. Good morning, John. Good morning, Arthur. When did you first find out the shop's closing down? And to be honest, honest we reached just, just yesterday, um, although, although I had, I had um, heard, that heard that there was a, what appeared, what appeared to be a potentially closing, closing down sale. So, so uh, that, that, that news, um, in, light in light of the, of the current trading, trading environment, environment doesn't, 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 doesn't really surprise, surprise me. me. Yeah. Yeah. And the same has been going, going, going on for, for a while. A while. Um, um, uh, uh, finally, the, the decision has been made. What might the wider community make of it? Um, um, well, I think, well, it's, I think sad it's sad that, that any, uh, any, any retailer in Guernsey and can, no can no longer, no longer uh, trade, trade successfully. successfully. Um, um, well, I don't know the ins and, and outs of it, um, but, but um, Guernsey, Guernsey as, a, as, a, uh, as an environment has, has a number of uh, uh, chandlers, a number of uh, uh, the two, uh, two full, fully functioning shipyards, shipyards. Um, um, and, and so, so the, the, the local, local marine industry, the local leisure industry is actually Really quite, really quite buoyant at the moment. Um, obviously, obviously this has been a really, really difficult, difficult year, year um, with, um, with lockdown, a total, a total closure, closure. Um, people, people being, being unable, to unable to use their boats, boats or indeed work, work on their boats. boats. Um, and, so and so really, really um, it's, not, it's a not a surprise that, that, that this, this has happened. happened. But, the but the leisure industry, industry remains buoyant, remains buoyant um, and, and even though, even though, sadly, uh, uh, this, this, this trade, this trade will no longer be there, uh, we, are uh, we are pretty well, pretty well served. served. That's good That's to hear. Good to hear. Has, there Has there always been, been a, a great deal of service and shops, shops in, in boating, in boating and competition, competition, if you like? Yeah, well, things, yeah, well, things evolve. evolve. Um, you know, you know I, I, remember I remember the days when if you wanted to do a party, you go to John Osborne's house in the cafe. So things do evolve. And... But, but I think, I think increasingly, increasingly you tend to see larger outlets, outlets who can offer, offer a, 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 a wider variety, variety of goods. Um, um, and then, and you, then have you have niche suppliers who deal, who deal with marine, marine electronics, um, outboards, outboards um, um, and, and, and ribs and, and, and such like. like. So, so there's, there's a degree of specialism, specialism nowadays. nowadays. Um, um, but as, but as, as I say, we are fortunate. We do have two fully functioning yards in the island. So that's interesting to you to talk about the trends in specialisms. If, 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 you like, if you like, because the owner, the owner of this particular shop says they're, they're looking to move a large part of their business online. I wonder if that's, if that's going to be welcomed within, within the, the boating community here. Is, is, is that, that fairly, fairly easy, easy to get one's, get one's head around and, and, take, and take up that sort of service? I think, I think online, online, online can have difficulties, difficulties. Um, because quite, quite often, often if you, you know, if you're working on your boat, you want something, you want it then. Um, be it a pot of paint, be it a brush, um, be it a replacement life jacket. And so you miss down, down to the shop. Time, time is of the essence. essence. <laughs> and, and also, also uh, certainly, certainly online, online can be can fraught, fraught with difficulties as far as, especially, especially if it's coming from, not, from not from our, our island, island. Because, because there are all, there are all sorts of restrictions about safety equipment and also due to things like paint, etc. are very problematic getting shipped. I see. I see. How would, How would an, an online model, model in, this in this industry, in this way, in this way work? work? I'm, thinking I'm thinking that, that if, somebody if somebody puts an order in, in then perhaps uh, uh, this individual shop would then uh, find, uh, find it and purchase it, ship it, ship it over, and then, and then supply it to the customer, rather than, rather than having, having the stock there. there. I, 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 I don't really know. know. I, 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 think I think it's pretty for them to comment best on that. Um, as, I, as, I, as I say, I, I, I think that um, although um, online, online can work for, for very special things you can't, you can't get locally, um, as, a club, as a club, we're, we're very keen to support all, all local retailers, um, in, in, in order that the, 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 the industry is there to meet, to meet the needs of us going forward. Well, you painted a clear picture on, on, on that. Um, this, um, this business, business that can trace its roots as far back as the, the late, late 80s, 80s, as we mentioned. I wonder if, I wonder you, if you have any memories, memories of buying, of buying stuff from there. To be perfectly honest, honest um, it, it's, it's not a shop I, I frequented hugely, hugely. And in, in, in part because um, I, I, believe I believe they had a, sh uh, a unit in uh, Foundry Street years ago, years ago. 
um, and, and they all, then of course, they went to the North Esplanade. That's right. Sorry, yes, North Esplanade. Yeah, the sea front. I was just doing a bit of research. 1999 was the year that I found when we were talking about the Twin Fountain Street. So it does stretch back a while. But continue on that point, John. Yes, so, you know, as I say, Speaking, Speaking personally, personally um, um, I, wasn't I wasn't a great, a great um, frequenter of the shop, shop simply, simply because, um, um, a, 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 and this is a Guernsey wise, wise issue, that, that if you can park outside and pop in to get your pot of paint, it's, it's a lot easier than, 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 um, than, than, doing, it, than, than doing it on foot. So that's, so a, that's a, uh, uh, yeah, uh, an, an issue, but... but um, uh, but, but, but one that you've, I suppose, treated with, with respect over, over the years and uh, frequented, to use your word, the, the shops that, that you've chosen. In terms of Guernsey Living Stores and, and much loved brands, um, this is what I just wonder whether it will be a, a big loss. And so you don't need to speak personally in this case, but you can, you can look, at look at the, the wider voting community of which you are a part and just wonder what the feedback you'll be getting over the next few days will be. I think, I think Guernsey, Guernsey is still pretty, pretty well served. Well served. Um, um, yeah, w- there, are, there are there are enough, enough providers um, to, meet to meet most people's, people's needs. needs. Different, different shops have different specialisms, um, but but generally, generally speaking, speaking, the uh, the leisure uh, boating industry is pretty well served. served. Yeah, you know, the, the, I, think I think it's worth, worth saying, saying that the leisure boating, boating, boating industry has, has actually done fairly well during lockdown, or rather post lockdown. The, the, I've been, I've been, I'm, told I'm told that the, the, the local yacht brokers, brokers have, have had a, a fairly bumpy year, year and that, that uh, lots, lots of boats changing hands, hands lots, lots of new people coming into the, um, into the leisure, leisure uh, sector, sector for, 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 for the yachts and motorboats. And, motor boats. and, 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 and against against the Yacht Club itself has had a bumpy year, year insofar as we've had about 200 new members this year, roughly 10%. Um, um, and, and that's, that's uh, a, a factor, I think, of the vacation. Plus, plus we currently have a, a, uh, a holiday on our joining fee. So, so um, um, I, 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 in, in terms of to have a vibrant industry, industry, you need the participants and you need, and you need the support, support services. services. And I think, well, I think it's fair to say the, the participants are actually really, really still engaged, engaged in, in, in the, the leisure pursuit. pursuit. Um, um, and I think there is enough support. For, um, um, from the green traders, traders um, to, to satisfy that. that. You very, you very much, much out the other side then of the pause, the bumps, as you put it, particularly on the, the leisure boating side of things. Sounds like you're growing. growing. Yes, yes, you know, you know, the, I think, I think you know, you know, lockdown, lockdown Guernsey and staycations, and staycations have very much, very much um, g- g- given the, the, the local uh, sport a uh, sort of a shot in the arm, really. And, and you know, people have realised realized that you, know, you don't need to go far afield when you've got such great. Um, um, well, well, such great, such great scenery, scenery and great places to go, to go on, your, on your doorstep. Finally, Finally on the Yacht Club in particular, in particular what's, in what's in the pipeline? Well, well we, 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 we had two regattas this year, this year which, which sadly, sadly had to be been the Swans and the Spirits, spirits. and we, and we very, much very much hope they're going to reschedule next, uh, next year. Um, the, club, the, club the club is going from strength to strength. Our vibrant youth section continues to grow. Um, and, and we are, we are hopefully, hopefully um, going to install a, a disabled lift in, in the near future for to, to allow, allow some of our older members you know, to, be to be able to continue to, continue to use the club as they become, become less mobile. mobile. Oh, that's oh, that's great. Great. So, so there are the lots, lots of things that we hope to do, um, but, but uh, we, 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 we can continue, continue and, and um, we're, we're, we're just grateful, grateful to be back on the water. And, and hopefully, hopefully that, that we'll, we'll all be playing sailing or motoring next year. Next year. Indeed, Indeed, a rather, a rather different, different picture for, for, you, for you here than in other places, other places uh, uh, particularly, particularly just across the water in, in, in Jersey and the UK. Yes, yes I, I think Jersey, Jersey chose a slightly different, different path. And in, and in the UK, UK um, um, it's, it's, it's difficult to do most of what, what we do under the restrictions that they are now heading into. So we have to be ourselves fortunate. John, John thanks, thanks very much for that and coming to see us this morning. I appreciate it. You're welcome. John, John Fallon, commander of the Guernsey Yacht Club. I'm um, speaking to us there uh, primarily about the uh, sound closure of the, the Sequest Marine Shop on St. Peterport Seafront. And as John correctly identified, once a fountain street, if you have uh, your, uh, your memories of, of the rather, rather long standing store, store. Uh, do, uh, do let us know. We can share some of them later. Our number is 0808 100 9932. Or by email, 